normal? Oh yeah, I was Monica. A couple weeks ago, I got this weird letter in my mailbox. It wasn't postmarked. I'm pretty sure it was right around then that the mail stopped coming in. It's a long story, but this is following a lot of weird things I was noticing on the metro on the way to my work. This letter really weirded me out. Now I'm in this field. I brought the letter with me. I thought you might want to see it. I can even read it, if you'd like. A couple weeks ago, I went down to take out the trash. At the bottom of the stairs, there was a leathery old man. He was very sweaty and was trying to wedge open my mailbox with his fingertips. He was holding a note in between his teeth. Weirded out. I think in a trance. I asked him if I could help. He sneered in the dark. Someone named Melissa will end the world. We talked. For a moment, and then... I asked for his name. His growl through gritted teeth. I'm Melissa. Since then, I've been seeing more of them. My only wish is to never see Melissa again. Once was crouched in the corner of my bathroom. So dark in there, I could only see his face when he helped his cigarette up to his lips. He handed me a note. I couldn't read it all, but it said something about skinned men and something-something midnight. More weirded out. I wish that... I wish that the night... The harassment continues. I was taking a break from work and smoking a cigarette out on the mall. I heard a buzzing noise and turned my attention to what looked like two little girls sitting under a tree. They were passing a taser back and forth, one of the ones that's made to look like an iPhone. They looked at me and glared as the taser buzzed in one of their hands. They told me, Your life is over? I read their lips. It's true. I'm bad for myself. But I'm sorry for you lots, Claire. I've been noticing things like this letter more and more lately. I feel like I've woke wrongly. Or woke on the right side of the wrong bed. (laughs) Ha ha. Anyways, like I was saying, moments of strangeness like this letter here are occurring at a staggering rate. I've also been violently flashing back to certain memories. Or dreams or things I've seen it or read, like shockwaves rippling through my entire form. I really don't know what to make of it. I've been thinking a lot about this one time I passed out in Mike's shower. I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe I just woke up too fast or something. I could have been late to work. Mike had one of those shower curtains with the map of the world on it, My vision blurred and faded as all the continents merged into one. My head must have hit the faucet because I ended up needing stitches. Later, I saw the shower curtain bloody and wadded up in Mike's trash. That's when I remembered my little Pangea trip and the subsequent out-of-body experience I had while I was passed out in the shower. I remember floating in Mike's kid's room. They have one of those rugs that looks like a top-down view of a city. The room was a wreck. A bowl of melted ice cream in the middle of the rug had attracted a colony of ants. Floating and ghosting above that rug and those ants, all I wanted was a swarm of CGI insects to eat my body and leave only bones. That's what I think about when I close my eyes now. How badly I want a swarm of CGI insects to eat my body and leave only bones. I want a swarm of CGI insects to eat the oak banisters at my in-laws' place up north. I want a swarm of CGI insects to eat the braided leather belts and boat shoes off my in-laws. Do you want to see? Okay, 
I'm going to close my eyes now. Okay, I'm going to open my eyes now. I feel like I'm living on borrowed time. Sort of. It's actually more trivial. Like some sort of toy time, or clown time. Like a show or game or something. Living in the pocket of a clown. Have you heard that song? Pocket of a Clown by Dwight Yoakam. I haven't heard it in a long time, but... <gasps> oh my god. Look at that fucking house. I swear it wasn't here a minute ago. It just sort of appeared. This is seriously weirding me out. I don't even want to think about what's in that house. I wish I could make it go away, but I can't really move. I wonder if I can just sort of cross my eyes. Like in Mike's shower, but in reverse. Okay, here I go. I'm just going to sort of cross my eyes and hope. Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> oh god, I can't believe that worked. Oh man, I was so worried for a minute. Incredible. Wow, I should really call Mike and tell him about this. Well, this is Mike. He doesn't say much. I wanted to tell him about that house, but now I'm starting to feel a little insecure. It's been a while since Mike and I have talked, but... Someone else is in the field now. They're waving a flag. I'm pretty sure it's a flag I made. I think... I think that might be Melissa.